Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access to Trade Diet Calm nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, had a really good day of trading. We'll, we'll talk about the individual pivots uh, in a second. So maybe Goldman Sachs analyst from three days ago wasn't so far off. You know, he did call out, you know, he called out a bottom. Again, is he right? You know, we don't know. But again, it, it's not about being right. It's not about uh, taking credit. It's not about... Um, you know, giving yourself a pat on the shoulder. It's it's about thoroughly making adult decisions every single day, whether it's on the bear side of the equation, on the bull side of the equation. And I'm I'm telling you, I know a lot of you guys recently started uh, trading, just even in the last year or two years. And you're going to look back at this, okay? Number one, I've I've always said it. It's it's always the biggest value that you start your career or start your journey in the absolute worst conditions, okay? I, 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 again, you really appreciate uh, what the good aggressive markets feel like when you're starting in uh, a deep red sea of disarray and concern um, and now, you know, debts, right? So it's not exactly the most uh, amazing uh, opportunity for a brand new trader kind of even the process what's going on. But I, I think this is the best thing. I said this for for months now. I, I honestly think this is the absolute best market uh, for you to start to see uh, the hardships, to see that, again, how much effort and behind the scenes uh, work you really need to put in to have your, you know, to have your plan play out and your thought process play out and wait sitting patiently uh, to see everything play out. And I, I'm telling you, we're going to look back um, at this tape in the, next, in the next three to five years, God willing, we're all here and happy and healthy together. We're going to look back at this tape and realize this was probably one of the best two-way, both long and short markets that we have are have experienced, have we, have we ever experienced. And it's just absolute amazing. If, if you told me three days ago, okay, that number one, the cues are literally one day away, okay, one day away literally one day away from playing Moses and parting the Red Sea, okay, we talked about all these levels, right? The levels here, the levels here. We just need one more level. Just think about this logically. We just need one more level to confirm. And the Qs have a measured potential from literally 212, 213, all the way to 228, okay? If you would have told me three days ago, Tesla was going to put up a 180-point run just because, okay, you could turn around and say, you know, the China sale, blah, blah, okay, whatever. If you turn around and told me Amazon was going to go on a 300-point run in three days, Netflix was going to be at 52-week highs, you would never, you would never even, even, even contemplate a thought with all the death tolls rising and all the people that are being infected and all that and the other things. And, and this is, again, guys, why we've been saying uh, for the last week, just stop thinking. Okay, you, you know every you know every post on social media has six hundred people telling you're wrong. You're wrong. Just again, nobody needs to be right or wrong. Trade the price action, guys. The, I mean, unbelievable. If you thought yesterday was crazy, okay, and yesterday was again, kind of go back to it. There wasn't a downtick for Amazon, Tesla, and Netflix. Okay, yesterday there wasn't a downtick into a rising 60 minute support the whole day. I've never seen that. In the eight and a half years that I've been trading pivots, I have never seen a day that the stocks did not back test into rising 60 minute support. And if you thought today, yesterday was nuts, okay? Today was yesterday, but bigger, okay? And yesterday we started talking about, let's start looking at all the stocks that kind of started getting more aggressive towards the end of the day, right? Um, that didn't qualify as the big, big movers yesterday. And that spilled over into today. You know, you had NVIDIA waking up ridiculously, okay? Uh, you had Alibaba waking up nuts. Apple, I, I thought the idea this morning, Apple was the only one, we'll, we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. I, I, I talked about it uh, on, on the morning strategy. I said, there is no way I'm, I'm playing Apple up eight. Right? Think about it. I mean, there's no way I'm playing Apple up eight. It's like it's like buying, you know, it's like buying Amazon up 160 points. 
right? And you can see what Apple did for us of the day. So I, I think when you, when you look back at this time, two things you're gonna appreciate. How incredibly fortunate you were, you were to either start in the last two years or so, because you saw the really, really aggressive linear market. You saw the really destruction of, of what happens with price action is met with an aggressive macro pandemic. Okay, the destruction of equity prices, all that good stuff. And you, you're really going to look back at this and you're going to be, you're going to pray to the market gods that you were fortunate enough uh, to really grow up in a time like this. And for all you guys who have been trading for a decade, decade and a half, and, and 20 years, 25 years, whatever the case may be, you really appreciate it. I know a lot of you guys will really appreciate what I'm, where I'm coming from. And this is, you know, everything, any type of market that you've been trading in the past, this is all, you know, this is all lined up, right? This is all lined up for you to experience, okay? You can't just go through a market career with everything good with it or with everything bad. You, you have to experience it all. It's like going uh, to the ice cream store, like to Baskin Robbins, knowing there's 31 flavors, but you keep on ordering vanilla, right? There's a whole world out there. There's whole experiences out there. There's this whole different scenarios with different micro, micro, uh, market cycles, uh, the good, the bad, the indifferent, the untradeable, the, the contraction, the expansion. The euphoria, right? The demise, the bankruptcy, everything, everything rolled up into one. And when you look back uh, again, I think, you know, I think this is a phenomenal time in our lives. Uh, very, very scary. Again, we're all, we're all sitting home. Uh, but again, I think this is going to make us better traders, smarter traders, better savers, more responsible. But I think we're all going to come out of this thing just better human beings. And, and I think at the end of the game, that's the whole thing, spending time with our families, all the extra time that we are fortunately getting with the people that we love and really appreciating the little things. So everything rolled up in one. Again, this is what God intended for us to experience uh, everything along uh, the way to happiness. And that's the uh, end game. So when you look at it today, um, ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Q's have literally gone, literally gone in the last 24 hours, uh, or last 36 hours from 199 to 220. You had a 10 percent move in the queues. Ridiculous. I mean, absolutely nuts. Amazon's gone nuts. Tesla's gone nuts. Google today finally went nuts, right? When was the last time you saw Google do anything, right? Finally went nuts. Um, so we are uh, in a very, very important day tomorrow. Now, before everybody gets incredibly excited about, well, this is it. Bull market's back. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Again, remember, last week I stopped caring. Okay, just trade the channels, have an opinion for the next day, look at your charts. But again, if your opinion, if your if your whole view of the next day doesn't play out, then you have to continue uh, to go with the masses. And tomorrow, I mean, this is kind of an important day for tomorrow. Okay, not saying market sentiment to the point of if the queues don't uh, you know reclaim this level, we're going to go back to the lows of the day. No. But again, this whole area here, it's very, very important to cues uh, to reclaim the 21250 area and close anywhere above it. Anywhere, you know, 213, 213 and a half, 214, 21275, doesn't matter. The, the bulls need to reclaim this 21250 level, especially on the close. And again, if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply to demand to demand, I mean, look how much room you have, right? So look how much room. Uh, you have, this is a whole big air pocket, but again, before we put the cart in front of the horse, the bulls need to really reclaim this 212.50 level. If we gap to that level and everything hits supply, we are going to at least roll over and start going back into this rising Bollinger Band, roughly about the 209. Again, nobody's talking about Armageddon or destruction of prices or taking out, you know, or, or taking out recent lows. We're just talking about an orderly back. This again, one step at a time, one piece at a time. That's all, all it is. So uh, when you look at today's pivots, uh, again, everything gapped up. Really, uh, really aggressive moves. Uh, yesterday, we, we were talking about on the video, and I was like, wow, Tesla's already up 20 after the close. And the, you know, and Amazon, and I said this yesterday in the video, I go, raise your hand if you don't think Amazon's going to take out 52-week highs. And when you wake up this morning, okay, you see Tesla at 703, <laughs> up like 40. You know, Amazon's up like 40. You know, stocks like NVIDIA that I loved yesterday on, you know, on, the, on the, the nightly email at 273 was 278. <laughs> so, so all these prices, like I liked Apple yesterday at like 274. 
It was like 278 pre market. You know, so, and I was sitting there, and I go, now we just got to find the value. And the most amazing part about channels are, again, they, they will go from supply to supply, demand to demand. You don't need to chase them, you don't need to trade all of them, but this is why we trade beta. And when you think the impossible can't be possible, that's when beta names just really, just absolutely show you who are realistically the, the cream of the crop, especially in the intraday uh, trading cycles uh, for traders. And this is why uh, they are the dar darlings of Wall Street. So let's talk about it, right? Right out the gate, uh, Tesla for aggressive and experienced traders only, guys. Again, not every channel, okay? Not every single channel. Again, guys, congratulations for all you guys. Uh, who did come in long, Tesla, Amazon, and Netflix. So Tesla for aggressive, experienced traders only. 704, 705 needs to build for a 730 push. Here is Tesla, uh, phenomenal move, absolutely phenomenal move. So here is Tesla pre-market right here, right? Here is Tesla pre-market. These two candles represent that if you see here, 70380, uh, 703.80. So it needed to build and needed to reclaim that seven, uh, 704, 705 area and just exploded. I mean, absolutely exploded uh, to the first candle to 737. I thought it was gonna get to stop at 730, stop the 737, just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous trade on, um, on Tesla. Uh, and the video was good. I just didn't get the size that I wanted. It was so fast. I just didn't get exactly what I wanted, but it was a really good trade. Uh, 276.50, 277, sneaky area. Macro needs to build that 78 and a quarter. And the video exploded, you know, absolutely exploded here. So the 78 and a quarter was the, it was actually the daily high. It was the high from April the 7th. So once it gapped up, the only next area of measured potential we had is to reclaim kind of a daily chart. So I got long this thing and it just went nuts. I mean, really, really nuts. You see here, the first move, uh, you know, ran up about $3 or so, came back in, then went up a little two after, but really good move there uh, on NVIDIA. Uh, I mean, Amazon, lose, Jesus, man. I'm talking about these call buyers. Were these, were these guys right or what, man? They were going in the last three days for the 2020s, the 2050s, the 2100s, the 2200s, the 2300s. We saw the 3,000 leaps yesterday. We saw 3,100 calls today. The 2,400, they like Amazon. So uh, 2,210, if it builds, can see the 2,250s. Stamp thing went to 2,300. So here is Amazon. Uh, 2,210 was right here, right? 2,210 was right here. And it broke the 2,210 and went right to uh, 2,250s. And I said, hey, great, perfect. And then damn thing went up another thirty, another another twenty five dollars. So amazing move on uh, on Amazon. And again, they all went. It was just one after another. Shop uh, four seventy two macro level needs to build. Shop went nuts, right? Here is the four seventy two, right? Here is the four seventy two macro level, right here. You can see these two candles here, uh, two seventy fifty seven, two seventy fifty seven. So I, I used seventy two just because it was over the upper Bollinger Band on the sixty minute. And it just exploded. I mean, just, just went nuts. Just absolutely went nuts. Uh, went to 501. I mean, absolutely insane. Uh, KDMN, I actually still like it for tomorrow. It stopped uh, right at four, uh, 450. I actually like it. If all you guys are trading small caps, if this thing reclaims that 450, 455 area, I think it's going to go. Uh, Netflix, you know, Netflix went. You know, Netflix went again. Very thin stock prior to 10 o'clock, but. It went nuts, you know, 52 week high yesterday, 40250, 403 needs to build. Uh, I traded Netflix as well. It was very scary in the beginning just because of how thin it was. Uh, but you know, it, it took out this whole channel here, remounted that 402, 403 area and just, just went nuts, went 417, 418 on Netflix. And you can just see it just one after another. I mean, again, guys, this is why we trade beta, okay? I, I, again, these are, the same stocks every single day. There's very, very rare, you know, you, you're gonna have these random stocks, but you know, Tesla monster push, take sales on, on Amazon, uh, Netflix take on the way up. Again, take sale, keep on taking sales. Tesla huge. Uh, shop, just a big, big move on shop as well. 2250s on deck, NVIDIA fire. Even Chewy went higher, right? Even Chewy gave a, gave a trade. Uh, 4275 needs to build. Again, not the biggest trade in the world, but again, these are not beta names. 
That's the whole point. They're not beta names. So here was the 4275, right? Went to uh, 4430, uh, 4330s. Okay, 60, 70 cents. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, again, I didn't trade Chewy, but if this was your thing, you know, God bless. So, it made, you know, good, good job there as well. This was a monster move, guys. This was an absolute monster move. We just saw that Boeing just wasn't, it just wasn't rallying. We saw it. Okay, we saw it, it was taking out lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And I said, look, reversing green to red. Again, that wasn't the pivot. 146 held twice on the five day. If it confirms, it can get hit. Um, so here is Boeing, right? Here is, the, here is Boeing. Here is the five day moving average right here. It was 46, right? 46. And once it broke 46, I said, there's a shot against the 40, right? 40 was the previous, uh, previous low, right? 40 was the previous low from uh april the 7th and you can see double double bottom here for now right and this it got destroyed i mean absolutely destroyed it took out the 46 this whole range here at 46 went right to 40. that's the line in the sand guys there's there's nothing else to talk about this thing this boeing starts confirming 40 it's going to go to 35 and it clo any close under 35 this thing's going back to 20. so tomorrow i, I love boeing i think you know if this thing starts confirming it's going to get absolutely destroyed uh, so again, big move, you know, big, big move on Boeing. Uh, I know a lot of you guys did incredibly, incredibly well today. You know, great job. Uh, great job. Uh, again, I, I want to send a kind of a shout out, uh, to one of our guys again, you know, one of the hardest things to do, and I give you guys a lot of credit. You know, I, I hear a lot of traders, um, you know, talking about how hard it is to be under the pattern day trading rule. And, and I, I don't know how you guys do do it. I give you guys an incredible lot of just incredible credit. And somebody asked me uh, years ago, hey, Dan, would you be able to take five grand and turn it into 50? I'll have no, absolutely not. I, I wouldn't even know how to do it. I, I couldn't even tell you how to do it. So I give you guys a lot of credit, man. I give you guys incredibly a lot of credit. It, it's a lot of dedication. Uh, it's a lot of patience. Okay. It's a lot of patience, but uh, congratulations to Larry, man. Um, great job. I mean, absolutely great job. Nice uh, first initial milestone for Larry. Uh, just a fantastic job, buddy. Uh, hats off to you. Again, it's it's an incredible um, it's an incredible task to pull off. I I personally couldn't do it. Okay, I'm I you know five grand to whatever it is eight grand to fifty. It's, no way. I, I personally couldn't do it. So I give you guys an incredible lot of credit um, for all you guys who are under the pattern day, day trading rule. You know, I always ask this: How do you you know how do you I, I you know I'm not the greatest person to ask that advice. Uh, I I don't know, but. Uh, however you do it, you know, however you do it, uh, you know, just again, stay the, you know, play the long game, you know, grind it out, uh, take your time if you need to, you know, to get another job or two jobs to get yourself o over that really ridiculous pattern day trading rule, which uh, again, the Securities Exchange Commission is, I guess, protecting you from you, allegedly, right? So uh, for all you guys under it, I, again, I'm not the greatest person to come for advice by this, but uh, again, just grind it out, um, you know, take your time, don't rush. Uh, you don't need to do it in one day. And the most important part is just stick with it. If this is what you wanna do, um, you'll find a way to get it done. And that's the most important part. So guys, have a great remainder of your day. Um, you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. You know, I, have a, I, have a, you know, I like Tesla, but not, you know, I don't like Tesla to the upside. Um, you know, I wanna see, you know, big, big run. I wanna see if it starts, gassing out same thing for amazon obviously i like uh bone short if it confirms so let's see what happens tomorrow you know i have a very specific game plan in my head now let's see the way it plays out guys god bless i love you all and i'll see you all in the field tomorrow take care guys congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading you're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.